my name is vishal yadav and uh, on another episode of around the globe we have the skipper the captain of malaysia women's cricket team vinny fred uh, today we'll talk about uh, uh, the growing women's cricket in malaysia from the captain herself and we'll also get to know more about her cricket journey uh, which started pretty early uh, from the time she was 10 she was 14 she started playing cricket so she has definitely seen a lot of women's cricket in malaysia i welcome you vinny on our chat called around the globe thank you thank you thank you for inviting me for this chat absolutely our pleasure vinny uh, let's quickly you know dive deep into your cricketing journey your childhood journey tell us about your initial cricket days and you know how was your childhood cricket like and who actually brought you to cricket uh i started playing cricket at the age of 8 on the streets on the road with the boys team and at that time the boys then allow me to play cricket because they said you're the only girl it's dangerous and all they started saying so i and then i was like i still wanted to play and then my uncle came up and said i'll teach you how to bowl and then he came up with this rule saying who gets the wicket they get to bat because i really wanted to bat at that time I saw the boys hitting the ball like really hard, and so I said, "I just want to do the same. Why can't I join them and play?" And then he said, "Don't worry, I'll teach you how to bowl. If you get the wicket, you can go and bat." And then, since uh, that time, I I enjoyed bowling, and I picked up bowling, and and I once I enjoyed bowling, I. didn't even look at batting i just wanted to bowl every every time i just wanted to bowl so and i was getting the best wickets and they were so shy to look at me after that and i said don't i don't mind i'll just bowl you all don't want to let me to bat i'll just continue bowling and then uh, at the uh, at the age of um, 12 i played in a club game my my uncle uh, did a club like our housing area club game and we went out and played in uh, with another club and then um, at this ground i be- i opened the bowling i was the only girl and, and then i at that point the uh, one of the ex and uh, national players was, were playing in that that club game as well the tournament and then i got his wicket and he he came up to my uncle and said who's that young boy bowl because at that time i had short hair and, and i was like because um they didn't know that there was a girl playing and after that the that guy went up to my uncle and asked who's that younger eh, who's that uh, young boy bowling and my uncle told him no that's my niece and then he got shocked he was like why don't she go and join the national team first that year only uh, had started the national malaysian women's team and then at that point even the selectors one of the selector was there as well and then he came up to me and my uncle and said uh, you could go to kinara oval and and there's a selection being held for the national team then i came at that time i was at the age of 13 and then i started uh, training with the national team and at the age of 14 i started playing for malaysia as an opening bowler that is how i started my cricketing journey actually yeah and my that, uncle is the one who drove me into this game that that is so inspiring vinny because the boys did not let you play cricket they did not let you hold the bat so you yeah. switched to bowling and you yeah. started taking their wickets and eventually a selector someone uh, you know spotted you and that is how you got introduced to the professional side of cricket and you became a part of the national women's cricket team yeah that's true amazing amazing this is the sounding like a, a bollywood movie uh, <laughs> so uh, and i'm sure that you know the journey uh, as easy as it may sound now uh, you know has has its own share of hardships and difficulties uh, so uh, tell me how did you get into the national squad and uh, did you always wanted to be a cricketer or did you also take up other sports before you know taking up cricket 
Uh, like how I said, uh, that uh, selector there, he introduced me and asked me to come and join this game. So since then, at the actually at the age of eight, once I saw the boys playing outside the house, I got more interested into this game. Because it looked like a fun game. It looked like something like softball and baseball. You know, just go hit the ball. At that time, you just know you hit, you throw. You, just, you know, but once right. you became more mature and you, know, and you know more about the game and then you understood the game more. And then um, at yeah. the age of 14, I took this game more important, like, because right. um, I was selected for the national team. Right. So since then, I until today, I stayed with the national team. It's about 15 years playing with the national team. So it's a long journey with them <laughs> from the start till now. So that's a huge process. Well, I would, I would like to remind the viewers who are watching this video that Vinny is only 29, but she has completed 15 years in the setup. She has completed 15 long years in international cricket. And, uh, you know, people listening must be feeling that, you know, she, she must be in 30, she must be very old. But yes. because she started at 14, uh, you know, that's the kind of time span that she has spent with the national side. Uh, I, as on today, if we say Vinny has got has played 27 international matches for Malaysia, she has got 363 runs uh, and has got 18 international wickets to her name. She also scored her first, uh, you know, she also has a uh, 50, an international 50 to her name. Uh, but very, you know, it all started, uh, I was also reading about your, about your journey and I got to know that you had a chance to visit Australia for, for a training camp and this particular tour also shaped and uh, uh, you know, change a lot of your cricketing uh, views. So, could you tell us more about this? Yeah, actually, at the year 2015, after I finished my studies, I went to, to Australia. My family sent me there for to get more experience, gain more experience playing with uh, different level, different uh, level players. So, mm -hmm. they sent me to Adelaide to play for six months. Uh, a league there, so I went there and I got to learn a lot from the girls, and it's it's uh, really different playing over there and in Malaysia because you see in Australia any corner you see people playing cricket, mm -hmm. and and weekends any ground full, so it's something like interesting for me, like even small kids go down the to the park and play cricket with their with their their say age level their parents bring them and all right. so it's something different for me when i went over there and mm. and also i played with a club called kensington, kensington cricket club in adelaide mm. and i played in the t20 league and also the 50 over league and we played we won the T20 league playing in Adelaide Oval. That was my really, I was so excited to play in Adelaide Oval. You won't get that chance to play in that ground. And it was very interesting for me to get to feel. Normally you just see from far how like the international cricketers play and dive and see how, interest, how good the feel is. When you get to play on it, you're like, wow. How amazing playing on this beautiful ground, you know, you dive and you feel like nothing, you know, it's so right. soft, grass is green, like really green. So it's, I learned a lot from that, that playing in that uh, league in Australia for six months. Hmm. And I was hoping I could go again for another season. Hmm. Maybe hope you... You, you repeat that and you go back to Adelaide to play some of more matches. Uh, but, but Penny, you know, when you started growing up, uh, was women's cricket popular in Malaysia? And uh, and if not, you know, who were your cricketing idols? Who did you look up to? Actually, uh, Malaysia, at the point when I started playing cricket, uh, women's cricket was really not, not 
we couldn't see in any picture hmm. it was just faded like only hmm. that that 15 players that 15 players we didn't have extra players but okay. now in this coming years cricket in Malaysia has changed to a different hmm. level and you hmm. can see hmm. many schools uh, starting women's cricket as well so Amazing. it's uh, good to see the changes happening in Malaysia where you get hmm. more women's cricketers coming and playing Mm. And after our, actually after the sea, sea Games mm. in Malaysia, everything changed for us because uh, we played in our home ground and we we got uh, supporters coming and after they saw us playing, they, a few of them, like some players uh, started loving the game more and mm. now mm. we could we can see a lot of uh, women's cricket as interested in this game as well even before you could hear people saying oh the weather is hot and but now everything changed mm -hmm. everything different definitely you know the general perception i can assume that it must have changed uh, especially you know the parents probably they would not be uh, sending their daughters to play cricket due to the hot weather like you said but now uh, thing, things have changed if you could highlight hi highlight more on that and also in the recent past, we have seen uh, some international matches happening in Malaysia. Pakistan uh, played an international fixture there. Uh, I think Australia also toured Malaysia for, for a tournament. So how has these visiting teams uh, have influenced the overall women's cricket in Malaysia? I think uh, it's a good thing that they came over here and played. So we could see from our own eye how women cricket players play not see through tv and because mm -hmm. while seeing through live tele like tv we don't see the same way how they play life so it's really amazing to watch them in front of us playing and and then we can learn more by seeing them right in front like how they set the field how right. they manage the situation Right. So it's something good for us, and since at that time also we we got few uh, supporters, women, mm. young girls coming over here and watching them play as well. Mm. So mm. I think from there they started picking up the game more, mm. Mm. and also um, my actually I didn't didn't have any women cricket idols because mm. mm. in Malaysia I also started playing first. Like the first, uh, uh, what's this? Uh, first starting group for our country. So mm. I didn't have anyone to look up on, but mm. I looked up on like uh, international cricketers like Sangakara, like and Jayawadina. Mm. Even though they were left-handers, but I just loved the way they batted. Mm -hmm. I just watched every match, and I can just watch repeat, repeat after repeat, cause. Really, the way they play, the shots, the patience, that one taught right. me taught me a lot as well. Even though they were left left handers and I'm right right, right hander, <laughs> doesn't matter. You could just watch how their foot works. That's Correct. how I learned by watching a lot of games actually on TV. Well, they 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 definitely are the legends of the game. And yeah. like you said, Vinny, you know, when you were growing up, you did not have role models to look up to. But I'm sure that the girls who are now taking up cricket in Malaysia, they must be looking up, uh, looking up at you, uh, looking up for inspirations from your journey, Vinny. And you definitely has played a role in in taking uh, women's cricket in Malaysia ahead. So many congratulations on that. Uh, Thank you. And and uh, a, a question parallel to that is on on a personal front, Vinny, considering that you have seen over 15 years of international cricket. Uh, on a personal level, which are the areas that you think are uh, still, you know, Malaysia cricket is lagging and uh, things that needs improvement? I think uh, now, since the time we start, I started playing and the progress now, I can see a lot of improvement from the cricketing side and the knowledge of the game from the girls as well. Like before this, we we were lacking by the knowledge of the game. But mm. now, the girls, like 
what I can say, like we get more, we get to see more international cricketers coming here and playing. And by there, right. the girls learn more and they get knowledge from there. And mm. that's now boosting us. And after the Commonwealth Games and all, I think everything has changed in our in Malaysia. So, uh, Vinny, we know that you have you are currently leading the Malaysian women's cricket team. Uh, the question is that you know how has the uh, captaincy experience been so far? What has it taught? And what are some of the key things, key learnings for you on a personal level uh, after you took up this uh, uh, this role? I would say uh, I captained the Malaysian women's cricket team at the age of 21 until now. I'm 29, so it's been eight years captaining the side, and it's a really good learning process for me as well. I've learned a lot by g giving me this um, this leadership because um, while you have a leadership, you you must know every role, every situation, how to handle the game. So I've learned a lot from being a captain, how to be more disciplined how to uh, make my time management. So from there, from captaining and having this responsibility, I have learned so much. So I would say thank you uh, for trusting in me and giving me this uh, opportunity to lead the side. You know, what would be that one goal that you have or the immediate goal that you and the Malaysia team has now? Uh, our our goal is to to play in a world in the World Cup one day. That's our main goal. But first, we have to go process by process by qualifying. We win the qualifiers, and then we go to the global qualifiers and all, and then we reach the World Cup. So that we have to follow the process, and one day we'll achieve it. Absolutely, you you will. Uh, and uh, you know, a question related to that, since you brought up World Cup. Uh, we, we all know that in just next two weeks, we have a Women's World Cup happening after five long years. Uh, which, which is your favorite team and which team are you looking forward to support? Actually, I don't have any favorite team or any team. I just like to watch good cricket, like good interesting game, good cricket <laughs> until the end. That's that's my way of watching the game. I don't actually support or oh, that team wins. No, I just go okay day by day. This team playing this, I just want to watch some good cricket today. That's how I look at it. Well, that's a very diplomatic answer, Vinny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, and and I must ask you that you know who who would you like to sort of credit now, and uh, who would you like to dedicate? Uh, your success in cricketing field so far. I'm sure so many people, the coaches, your parents, your uncle, like you rightly said, has played a huge role, uh, you know, in shaping up your cricketing career. Who would you like to sort of dedicate and thank now? First, uh, I would like to thank my uncle. Uh, he actually recently passed away, but uh, oh, he was nice. the one who brought me into this game. And I like thank him the most. After that, uh, my parents for supporting me in this game right until today and giving me uh, every support they can by giving me more experience, by sending me to other countries and getting more exposure. And then I will say thank you to the many, uh, Nation Cricket Association for trusting on me and giving me the post as captain as well to lead the team, to lead the side. And last not least, I would like to thank my coaches, whoever have been coaching me from day one until today. I would like to say thank you to them for guiding me and showing me the right path. Amazing, amazing. Uh, again, you know, on behalf of female cricket, I would also like to thank each and everyone that uh, has played a huge role in Vinny's journey. And uh, there are so many cricketers, you know, that we see are coming up uh, are, are coming up the ranks and are now sort of making their mark in the international cricket and everybody has the same story to say uh, they were initially not allowed to play with the society with the boys uh, and then eventually they found their way up 
and yours is one such story vini and it is super inspirational and i'm i'm hoping that now when the girls go out to play and they ask the boys can can we join and uh, can we join your team and the boys would not deny because they know what a girl in case if he, she is denied to play cricket can can go on to become yeah sure <laughs> thank you on that note thank you so much vini for joining on this chat uh, i wish you all the best i wish the entire malaysian women's cricket team all the best and we hope that your dream of playing in a world cup comes to be true very soon thank you for inviting me in this chat it was good great pleasure to join and sharing always. my my cricketing journey with you always a pleasure vini thank you so much thank you